Hey, hey, sweet friends. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new here. My name is Bethany. Here on my channel, you can find all things homemaking. Today's video is a new weekly grocery haul. I shopped at Aldi and Myers today, so we are going to go ahead and get going into these groceries and getting them put away. I will have a meal plan that will pop in here so you can see what we're having for the week. But to start out, we got some mop pads. We were completely out. We got two loaves of bread and I got some Batiste dry shampoo I wanted to try it. I've heard a lot of people talk good about it. We got two of the Milano cookies and some Stacy's pita chips. I got some chili seasonings and grabbed a few extras. I got some organic rainbow carrots, some string cheese. My kids absolutely love string cheese, so we got some of that for snacking. And I got some butter. We were running pretty low on butter, so I wanted to go ahead and pick up another thing of butter. We got spinach dip to go with the pita chips for lunches and snacks. I'm going to be making lasagna one night, so we're getting some ricotta cheese and some cottage cheese. And I've been on a cottage cheese kick lately, of just eating cottage cheese. It's so good. So I have been enjoying that. And then we got some sour cream for burritos one night. And then I've been craving some orange juice in the morning. Um, I don't know if that's just telling me that I'm low on vitamin C or what, but I've been craving orange juice, so I wanted some orange juice. And then I got the kids another juice. And I'm not sure why I was given the really big pack of cheese, but um, they gave it to me anyway, so we'll use it. So I got two packs of the mozzarella cheese. I got three things of the Aldi's Simply Nature ground beef. And then I think I already said the carrots and string cheese. And then we got some Colby Jack cheese because we're going to have subs one night for dinner. And the subs will go along with the meats, the um, deli ham, and then the deli turkey. I just figured subs would be something easy and quick and we can all make them just how we like them. Um, we're going to do salmon one night. And I got some tater tots to go with lunches or the salmon and some fish sticks. We haven't had these in a really long time and I just thought maybe it'd be something fun to switch it up for the kids for lunches. I got some pork sausage for biscuits and gravy and then all these had these fresh cranberries for only 99 cents a bag so I picked up a bag so I can make some cranberry juice and can it. I got a big old head of lettuce for those subs, some bananas because you can never go wrong with having bananas for smoothies, for breakfast, for all the things. I got a, another jar of salsa. I unfortunately didn't get to make too much salsa this year, so I did pick up a jar. I got some grape jelly and, of course, a gallon of whole milk. Some red enchilada sauce in the mild flavor for our burritos. I got a seedless whole cucumber, a tomato for the subs, and then I got some strawberries. We haven't had strawberries in a bit either, and those sounded really good. And I got some sourdough English muffins, because my sourdough starter isn't ready yet. Um, I got some deli rolls for the subs, a package of eggs, and then a couple different packages for chips. I got some kettle cooked original and kettle cooked barbecue. Things are always falling over on this counter. Um, I got some white cheddar popcorn. The kids go crazy over this white cheddar popcorn and it's so much cheaper from Aldi and still just as good. Um, we're running low on coffee and this is one of our favorite ones from Aldi is the donut store blend. So we got that one. I got the kids some more multivitamins. Those are from Aldi as well. They're way cheaper and my kids love them. Some burritos or burrito tortillas. Um, these red lobster biscuits looked really good for lasagna, so I got those. And they substituted these for like the squeezable gel, but that's fine. So I got some dishwasher tablets, some banana chips, and then I got some fruit snacks as well. That's everything we got in this haul and this was about $200. 
and um, now I'm going to go ahead and just restock everything, restock the eggs, restock the drinks, um, restock some mason jars with some fruit in it, and just get the fridge ready for the week. I like to go ahead and take some time and just restock everything and um, put it into different containers because truthfully it helps me, it helps my family just see what we have, especially when I put it in mason jars and it can just sit in the fridge. They can see how much we have of everything and what we have. It's easy for the kids to pick out what they want. It's easy for my husband to get in the fridge and not have to, you know, dig through different containers. Like, they're all just right there in the fridge, and it just makes it so easy. So, I like to take some time after getting my groceries to just go ahead and put everything away and get it nice and organized so that way it sets us up for a good week and just makes it easier for everybody. I really truly hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you for all the love on Sunday's video. YouTube is so weird sometimes and if you're a creator you kind of know how it goes. I just want to say thank you to every single one of you who are always supporting and always here and I just appreciate you from the bottom of my heart. I hope you all have a blessed day. If you're in need of prayer let me know. I would love to pray for you until I see you in Thursday's video for another Christmas Decorate with me. I hope you all have a wonderful and blessed week. Bye y'all.